personally like my knees nice and wide. Big toes touch behind me. Rest your forehead down on your mat. Give all of your weight to the ground, to the earth. So take just a moment here to really arrive here in this space, to arrive in your own body, start to feel all the sensations that are there, physical, energetic, emotional. And start to notice just the rise and fall of your breath. Next time you breathe in, fill up as big as you can and hold at the very, very top of your inhale. See if you can even sip in just a little bit more. And then exhale, big open mouth sigh, let it go. Do that twice more. So inhale, fill up, hold at the top. Sip in just that little bit more. And then exhale, sigh it out. One more time. So biggest inhale you've taken all morning. Hold in fullness. And as you hold this breath, see if you can relax and soften around it. And then when you're ready, big, huge, open mouth sigh, let it go. Good, seal your lips gently now and start to bring in ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose, gentle constriction in the back of your throat. So see if you can start to create that whisper noise, that oceanic sound with your breath. The inhale is like you're taking a big, huge gasp, but in very, very slow motion. And then the exhale is like you're fogging up a window, but with your lips gently sealed. So you start to hear your breath as it moves through your throat. So take a moment, just connecting with your breath. Connecting with your own internal rhythm. And then as you feel ready to move, rise up to hands and knees and just start to explore your own intuitive movement with your own breath at your own pace. So you might just take regular cat cows, inhale to arch and exhale to round. You might get a little more creative, maybe circle your hips around or even draw figure eights with your hips. You can come all the way forward towards cobra or even scorpion cobra. You can shift all the way back into your child's pose at any time. If you wanna work into your wrists, perhaps you spin your fingers out to the sides or even back towards your knees and just gently rock forward and back side to side or around in little circles. So take just a moment to just notice what's going on inside your body. What feels really good this morning? What feels really open? And then where do you feel a little bit tight or stiff or sore? Give yourself about three to five more rounds, just exploring, no right or wrong. And I highly encourage you to keep your eyes closed for this part. So just getting out of your mind, letting go of that self-conscious part of your brain and just tuning into your body to how you feel, to what you feel. And then as you are ready, absolutely no rush but eventually find your way back to our first downward facing dog of practice. Good, you guys. So once you're back in your down dog, give yourself a few breaths there. Maybe pedal out your heels. Maybe walk out your dog. You could take your feet out to the width of your mat and kind of transfer your weight from side to side on the diagonal. 
You might shake your head yes or no. So just notice this morning, in this moment, how does down dog feel in your body? How can you be a little more efficient? So if it feels like all of the weight is in your hands, can you use the strength in your core to lift up? So imagine there is a rope attached to your navel, your belly button, and it's pulling up towards the ceiling, up towards the sky. See if you can find that connection to your center. See if you can feel your big deep breath moving through you. So each time you inhale, you feel as if you get just a little bit lighter, more buoyant. And each time you exhale, you find emptiness, you find stillness, you feel your belly button pull in and up towards your spine, Uddiyana Bandha. So use your breath to support you. Use your awareness to get all the juice out of this pose. Take one more big inhalation, fill up. And then exhale, gaze forward, empty out, step, tiptoe, or hop, top of your mat, forward fold. Nice, Janelle. Once you've arrived, take just a moment to be in your fold. So maybe ragdoll pose if that would feel good. You can grab opposite elbows, let your upper body sway from side to side, or bob a little bit up and down. Notice where you're holding the weight in your feet. Try to bring your weight slightly forward. So rather than rocking back into your heels, think of lifting your sit bones up and rocking forward just ever so slightly, crown of your head towards the ground. You wanna feel the connection to center here so your belly button is pulling up towards your spine. Visualize your breath moving up your back body and all the way down the backs of your legs. Take a couple more rounds. Good job, you guys. Next time you breathe in, halfway lift. So spinal extension. Pause here for a moment. Think of squeezing your shoulder blades towards your spine, but then notice if you let go through your belly, pull your belly button in and up. Think of reaching your butt, your sit bones way back, and then imagine you're trying to lift your butt up towards the ceiling. So even in just this simple posture, there's so much we can notice. Take one more big inhale and see if you can lengthen more from the crown of your head back to your hips. Nice, exhale, bow, fold in. Root through your feet and either roll or reverse swan dive all the way up. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Flow with your breath. Inhale, high mountain pose. Stretch tall. Exhale, let your heart guide you all the way down slowly. So take your time, traction out your spine, then fold. Inhale, halfway lift, spine parallel to the ground. Exhale, let it go, refold. From the press of your feet, reverse swan dive all the way up. Inhale, arms to the sky, stretch tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do that once more. Inhale, arms reach up, high mountain. Lead with your heart. Exhale, slow dive down. Did I forget? I'm sorry, there's these people outside and they're distracting me. I don't know if they want in. Go through that by yourself. You guys know it. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, refold. Okay, I think they're just out there. Root through your feet, rise to stand. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, I'm back with you, I promise. <laughs> Inhale, arms reach up. This time, exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. So take a moment here, roll your shoulders back and down, squeeze shoulder blades towards your spine, and if you can, start to reach your hands back away from your body. Maybe even knuckles towards the ground and heart towards the sky. Take one more big inhale and think of breathing into the front of your heart. Hands stay clasped, exhale, slow dive down, forward fold. Good, with your fingers interlaced, halfway lift, so spinal extension. Feel your back muscles squeeze around your spine as you lengthen, exhale, fold. Now stay here for about two or three more breaths with your fingers interlaced. So see if you can let your head be heavy, your neck relax. 
maybe reach your knuckles a little bit higher towards the ceiling and see if you can also lift your sit bones a little higher. Take one more big inhalation, fill up. Exhale, hands to your low back, gently release your clasp. Let your arms hang for just a moment, maybe give them a nice little shake out. And then when you are ready, plank position. So plant your hands, step to the back of your mat. Take a moment, find your strength in this first plank pose. So really press the earth away, breathe into your back body. See if you can start to rock just ever so slightly forward and back. So nothing is changing in the position of your body. Good, Debra. You're just transferring weight forward into your fingertips, transferring weight back, pressing your heels back and lengthening through the backs of your legs. Next time you inhale, find that little rock forward so you're on your tippy toes. Come to your knees if you want to modify. Exhale, lower halfway down. Strong arms, strong belly. Inhale, press back up. Do that once more. Exhale, halfway down. See if you can keep your elbows stacked over your wrists. Inhale, press back up, and then slow as you can go all the way to your belly. Exhale. Inhale, baby cobra. So lift your chest using back strength rather than arm strength. Roll your shoulders back and down. Point your elbows back behind you. Press down through your shoelaces. Press down through your pelvis. Pull your belly button in and up. Now see if you can keep all of that. Float your hands up. Reach them back towards your heels. Don't let your chest drop. So visualize the muscles right in the middle of your back. Squeeze them around your spine. See if you can lift a little bit higher. Take one more in-breath. Exhale, release, let it go. Spider-Man Cobra, so hands out wide. This is my favorite. Come up to your fingertips, elbows face the sky. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, dip your left shoulder down and gaze over to the right. So take a little twist. Inhale, come back to center, heart lifts, gaze forward. Exhale, other side. So right shoulder dips down, turn to the left. Inhale back to center. Go once more in each direction with your own breath at your own pace. And just feel into the mobility in your spine, in your shoulders, maybe even in your neck. Good, you guys move with your breath. Eventually an inhale brings you back to center. Exhale to release, let it go. And then however you want to transition, downward facing dog. That's where we will meet. So give yourself a few breaths in your down dog. Again, if you want to bring in movement, exploration, please feel free, whatever feels good. If you want to just be still and follow the movement of your breath inside your body, kind of make the pose feel alive with your breath, that's perfect. So your pose, your expression, and then just be with it and experience it fully. See if you can feel every single inhale move into all the little tiny spaces. Every single exhale takes you all the way to emptiness. Feel that connection to center at the end of each exhale. Feel your intrinsic strength. You guys look really good. See if you can lift your sit bones just a little bit higher, lengthen your spine just a little bit more. Take one more inhalation. And then with your exhale, look forward, empty out, travel to the top of your yoga mat, forward fold. Once you have arrived, halfway lift, breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, bow, fold in. Now root into your feet, engage your core, reverse swan dive all the way up. Inhale, arms stretch, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, inhale, take your arms to the sky. And as you exhale, bring your right hand down to your right hip, push your hips over to the left and reach up and over to the right. 
So lengthen through your left side body. This is a great place to stay. If you want a little bit more, you can either reach your right hand up, grab hold of your left wrist, gently pull, or interlace your fingers and steeple through your index fingers. So your choice, your pose, whatever feels most beneficial to you, stay there and breathe into it. Take a couple more rounds. Think of hugging in with your inner thighs like you're holding an invisible block. Walk and breathe more length down your left side. One last round. With your next inhale, back to center, arms re-extend, realign. Exhale, other side. So start by bringing your left hand down to your left hip. Push your hips over to the right and then reach up and over towards the coffee shop. So imagine you're literally trying to touch the left side of the room. Breathe down your right side body, the space in between your ribs and your right waistline. If you want to take a different variation, go for it. You've got about two or three more rounds. So rather than just hanging out here, waiting for the next pose, use every single breath to create more length, more space from the inside out. Take one more round. Next time you inhale, back to center, arms extend. And as you exhale, sit back into a chair pose. So weight in your heels. Rather than letting your knees come forward, think of reaching your butt back. For now, you should be able to pick up your toes, wiggle them around, spread them apart. And then as you sit low, rather than looking down at the ground and kind of hinging forward, think of a little back bend, lift through your heart, but then tone through your belly, pull your belly button towards your spine. See if you can sit a little bit lower, take one more in breath. Good, exhale, chair plane or drinking bird. So hinge forward now as you reach back, option to float up to your tiptoes for a balance challenge. Squeeze your back muscles around your spine. So just like we did when we were on our bellies and we were lifting our chest and reaching back, do the same thing here. Think of a little baby cobra. Awesome, Anne. If you're on your tiptoes, see if you can lift your heels a tiny bit higher, bend your knees a tiny bit more. One last round. Stay on your tiptoes if you'd like. Inhale, high mountain. So all the way up as tall as you can grow. Maybe stay on your tiptoes, slow dive down, forward fold. It's helpful if you bend your knees as you dive if you're trying to balance. Inhale to a halfway lift, heels on the ground. Good, Deb. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. You move through your vinyasa however you want. So you can add those couple of push-ups. You can skip it completely. You can take a little bit longer in your back bend. Eventually, downward facing dog. All right, you guys, from your dog pose, inhale your right leg to the sky. And today I'm gonna say, just do whatever you want with your right leg. So either keep it extended and strong with your hips square. If it feels good, open your right hip. If it would feel good, maybe you circle your right leg or your right knee through space a few times. So just take a moment to be in your three-legged dog and to feel it or maybe explore it. Keep the length in your spine, keep the lift coming from your center like your belly button is being pulled up towards the sky. You guys look awesome. Keep awareness in your right leg, spread through your right toes. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, right knee to your nose, so curl in round your spine. Stay here as you breathe in, press the earth away, and then exhale, step your right foot to the top of your yoga mat, lunge position. Front knee over front ankle. Rise when you're ready, crescent lunge. So find stability through your legs. Hips are square. Feet press down and then hug towards midline. So energetically think of pulling your front heel back, your back toes forward. Tone through your low abdominals. Lift through your chest and reach through your fingertips. Think of your upper body here as your expression of the posture. Maybe close your eyes and just feel into your body. And closing your eyes will be a balance challenge as well.
Give yourself a couple more rounds. Good job. Take one last inhale. And then as you exhale, hinge forward, reach back. So we've been doing this all class long. Squeeze your back muscles around your spine. Think of a little baby cobra through your heart. Now root more into your front foot. Float your back foot off the ground, airplane pose. So think of a smiley face shape from the top of your head back to your toes. Try to keep your hips square, your heart slightly lifted. Good, use the strength in your inner thighs to get your back heel level with your front shoulders. Take one more round. Next time you breathe in, back to your lunge position. So arms to the sky, gaze up. Exhale, hands come down. Now keep your left hand rooted, reach your right arm to the sky, revolve lunge. So twist from your center rather than collapsing into your legs. So keep your inner thighs squeezing, your hips nice and level. Imagine you're trying to pull your right hip towards the back of your mat, but at the same time your right knee hugs towards your left armpit. Good, if you want an extra challenge and this is just an option, see if you can hover your left hand above the ground, nothing else moves. Take one more big deep breath. Nice work, end of your exhale, unwind. Root into your right foot, standing splits, one-legged forward fold. So I do not care if your left foot lifts an inch above the ground, just balance on your right foot. Lift your left leg as high as you can in this moment. You can stay where you're at, or maybe you wrap your right arm behind your right leg. Maybe you plant your palms, press the ground away, and lift up onto your right tiptoes. Maybe you even take a few top hops towards handstand. So completely up to you. Wherever you're at, you've got about two or three more breaths. And if you need to come out of it and then come back in, that's just fine. Listen to your body. Keep breathing slow and steady. You guys are doing so good. Take one last inhale, <clears throat> excuse me, and then exhale, forward fold. Bring your big toes to touch and then curl up into a little tiny potato bug ball. So butt towards the ground and knee towards your no nose towards your knees. You can keep your fingertips down to help with balance, or maybe you wrap your arms around the fronts of your shins and squeeze. Breathe into your back body. So with each inhale, feel your back ribs expand and inflate. Nice job. As you exhale, think of finding that deepest part of yourself, contracting, finding emptiness. Take two more big deep breaths here. Get as small as you can with your exhales. Next time you breathe in, halfway lift. So heels on the ground, spine parallel to the earth. Exhale, plant your hands, step or light hop back, chaturanga dandasana, slowly lower. Inhale to lift your heart, roll your shoulders back and down. Exhale, downward facing dog, take it back. So take just a second, walk it out, notice, feel, observe. Find your breath, reconnect to it if you've lost it. Next time you breathe in, left leg to the sky. And then again, today, do whatever feels good to you. Open your hips, circle your legs, circle your ankle, your knee. Stay in stillness and simply just breathe length and space all the way up into your left toes. Nice, you guys. See if you can feel that connection to center, that lift coming from your belly button. Take one more big inhalation. And then with your exhale, left knee to your nose, so round your spine, hollow out your belly. Stay here as you breathe in, press the earth away. Good job, exhale, step your left foot through to the top of your mat. And then in your own time, rise up, settle in, crescent lunge. So both hips face directly forward. 
You're hugging towards midline, so think of energetically pulling your front heel back, your back toes forward. Little tone through your low abdominals, draw your navel in and up, lift through your heart, reach through your fingertips. Maybe close your eyes, take a couple breaths. Feel this posture from the inside. Take one more inhale, exhale, airplane lunge. So hinge forward, reach back. Think of it a long diagonal line from the top of your head back to your heel. Squeeze your back muscles around your spine. Now start to root more into your left foot. Float your back foot off the ground, full airplane. So again, think of that smiley face shape from the top of your head back to your toes. If you're modifying, maybe your back foot just hovers above the ground and you play with your balance. Wherever you are at, be there, breathe into it, find your fullest expression. Good, Daniel, take one last round. Awesome, you guys, end of your exhale, back to crescent, so soft landing if possible. Arms reach up, breathe in. Exhale, hands come down. Right hand stays grounded, left arm to the sky. If you need to adjust your legs at all, please feel free to do so. And then keep your back leg strong like the power of this pose is coming from your back leg. Squeeze through your inner thighs. Think of energetically pulling your left hip towards the back of your mat, nice Anne. But then keep hugging your left knee towards your right armpit. Take a couple more breaths, and if you want that balance challenge, see if you can hover your right hand above the ground. Nothing else moves. Good job, my friends. One more inhale. Exhale, twist to your very edge, and then slowly unwind, standing splits. So left foot is your base, right leg floats up. And again, if your right foot is an inch above the ground, that is perfectly fine with me. Just find your own edge. Think of it as a one-legged forward fold. And then either explore or just be in it, breathe into it. You can wrap left arm behind left leg. You can plant your palms, gaze slightly forward, press the earth away, float up to your left tiptoes. Nice, Janelle. Maybe even play with a couple hops towards handstand. So your pose, wherever you want to take it, just make sure your breath is right there with you. Keep your right leg strong. Keep your right foot active. Take one last in-breath, maybe one last hop. Exhale, forward fold, bring your big toes to touch, and again, find your little tiny potato bug ball, curl in, get small. So think of drawing your nose towards your knees, let your back round, and then every time you inhale, expand into your back body like you're blowing up a balloon in your back ribs. See if you can really feel the expansion and contraction of each inhale, each exhale. Good job. Take one more big deep breath. With your next inhale, halfway lift. So set your heels on the ground, bring your spine parallel to the earth. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, peel your heart open. If you want to take an extra breath or two in your back bend, go for it. And then eventually, downward facing dog, take it all the way back. So take just a moment in down dog, reconnect. So big, spacious inhales and long, strong exhales all the way to emptiness. Feel your body. Feel your breath. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, look forward, empty out, step or hop forward, fold top of your yoga mat. Once you have arrived, inhale brings you to your halfway lift. Exhale, release, bow. Now from the press of your feet, reverse swan dive all the way up. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart, and we've got two rounds just like that, breath to movement. Inhale, take your arms to the sky. Exhale, side body stretch over to the right. You can take whatever variation you want, so option to bring right hand to right hip. 
Inhale, come back through center. And exhale, other side. Again, your choice, your variation. Reach as far as you can. Inhale, back to center, reach up. And listen here, exhale straight into chair plane or drinking bird. So hinge forward, reach back, maybe float up to tiptoes. Inhale, high mountain, you might stay on your tiptoes. Exhale, follow your breath down slowly, forward fold. Good, beautiful. Inhale, heels on the ground, halfway lift, nice and long. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back. Try to keep that exhale going, lower down. Inhale, lift your heart, peel your heart open. Beautiful. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Spread through your right toes. Now use your core strength. Exhale, right foot steps to the top of your yoga mat. Lunge position. Strong legs. Inhale, rise up. Crescent lunge. Now listen here. Exhale, either airplane lunge or full airplane. So up to you if you want to balance. Inhale, back to crescent. So arms to the sky, back toes to the ground. Exhale, hands come down. Leave your left hand rooted. Inhale, right arm to the sky, twist. Gaze up at your right fingertips. Exhale, unwind. And inhale, standing splits. Walk your fingertips forward, left leg floats up, maybe one hop. Exhale, tuck and curl. So left foot comes down next to right. Find your little tiny potato bug ball. Inhale, halfway lift, spinal extension. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift your heart, roll your shoulders back and down. And exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Big inhalation, left leg to the sky. Slowly and softly step your left foot through, exhale. Now strong through your legs, inhale, crescent lunge, rise up, reach up, perhaps gaze up. Exhale, yogi's choice, airplane lunge or full airplane, so option to fly if you want. Inhale, back to crescent, soft landing if you are balancing. Exhale, hands to the earth. And then with your inhale, find your twist. Left arm to the sky. Open it up. Good. Nice, Daniel. Exhale, unwind. With your in-breath, standing splits or maybe one little handstand hop. Exhale, tuck and curl. Little tiny ball. Get small. Inhale, halfway lift. Now listen here, exhale, fold, root through your feet, rise to stand all the way up, inhale, stretch your arms up, exhale, hands to heart, you've got one more round just like that, inhale, high mountain, exhale, side body stretch to your right, your variation, inhale, come through center, Slow, exhale, other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, chair plane or drinking bird. So hinge forward, reach back, maybe lift your heels. High mountain as you breathe in, possibly stay on your tiptoes. Exhale, slow dive all the way down. Good, halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, plant your hands, step or float, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift your heart, curl open, and exhale, downward facing dog. Good, you guys, big inhalation, right leg to the sky. Exhale, use your core strength, right foot steps forward, lunge. Inhale, high lunge, crescent lunge, reach up. Your choice, exhale, airplane lunge or full airplane fly. 
Inhale, back to crescent, arms to the sky, gaze up. Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, twist, right arm reaches up, open up the right side of your chest. Nice work, exhale, unwind. Root into your front foot, inhale, standing splits, option to take a hop if you want. Exhale, tiny little ball. So bring your left foot down, tuck and curl. Inhale, halfway lift, spine parallel to the earth. Exhale, plant your hand, step or hop back, chaturanga. Nice job. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, hips lift. Good modification, Deb. Inhale, your left leg high, active through your left foot. Exhale, very softly, slowly step your left foot forward, lunge. Root through your feet, reach up, crescent lunge, breathe in. And then your choice, exhale, airplane lunge or full airplane. Inhale, back to crescent, nice job, reach up. Exhale, hands to the earth. Right hand stays down. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Peel the left side of your chest open. Exhale, unwind. Left foot roots down. Inhale, right leg to the sky or hop. Exhale, tuck and curl. Little tiny potato bug ball gets small. All right, inhale, halfway lift. Now listen here, exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank, move through your vinyasa, end up in a child's pose. So right back where we began our practice this morning, just resting, letting the ground hold you. And take a moment to just notice again how you feel physically, energetically, emotionally, what is going on inside. See if you can notice without trying to control or fix or change, just simply observing without judgment, maybe even without labels, without words, just simply feeling. Good job, you guys. And if it would feel good, give yourself a breath or two out your mouth, a big exhale. And then as you are ready, we will meet up in tabletop position, hands and knees. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Make your arms feel strong, so little teeny tiny micro bend in your elbows, and then think of pulling your belly button in and up, knit your front ribs together so they're not dropping towards the ground. Keep that, take your right arm forward and your left leg back, spinal balance. So reach and pull yourself apart. Imagine somebody is pulling on your wrist and pulling on your ankle, traction your body out. Take one more big in breath. Exhale, uh, elbow to your knee, so slowly with control, curl in. Good, inhale, re-extend. See if you can find tons of length without arching through your spine. Exhale, elbow to knee, like you're moving through molasses, so slow motion. Inhale, re-extend, lots of length. And then last time, exhale, elbow to knee, curl in, round, hollow out. Inhale, lengthen. And then as you exhale, set just your right hand down, pivot on your right knee, so right foot comes to the outside of your yoga mat, left arm to the sky, modified side plank. So think of squeezing your outer right butt cheek and pressing your hips gently forward, and then reach your left arm forward, find length from your left fingertips back to your left toes. Breathe into your left side body, your left ribs, your left waistline. Choose to stay right here or final option, bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your left foot, kick foot into hand, pull hand back into foot. And it's only an option, so don't feel like you have to take it. 
Wherever you've chosen to go, make sure your breath is right there with you. If you are in the bind, see if you can rotate your heart towards the sky. Take about two more rounds, fullest expression. Nice job. End of your next exhale. Slowly release, unwind. Come back to your hands and your knees. And then uh, find your way back to downward facing dog. We'll get off of our right wrist by bringing our feet out to the width of our yoga mat. And then take your right hand back to grab the outside of your left ankle. If that's too much, you can grab the back of your calf or the back of your knee. Think of gazing underneath your left armpit, and every time you exhale, think of twisting, of wringing out. Use the leverage of your hand against your leg. Keep lifting with your belly button. Keep wringing out with your breath. Take about two more rounds. Good job. The key here, you guys, is engaging your core, and that'll help you balance so it doesn't feel like your left hand is holding all of your weight. Take one last breath. End of your exhale. Release your right hand. Come back to a regular downward-facing dog so you can adjust your stance. Pedal out your heels for a moment. All right, inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, everybody, open up your right hip. So bend your right knee, squeeze your outer right butt cheek, reach your right knee out to the right, and then up towards the ceiling. Flex through your right toes. Press down through both of your hands. Take one more big in-breath. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, so a little twist. Hips don't go any lower than your shoulders. Inhale, three-legged dog, back up. Exhale, right to right, as high as you can get on your right arm. Inhale, back up, three-legged dog. And then last one, knee to your nose, scoop out your belly. When you are completely empty, step your right foot forward. And then bring your hands up to your front thigh. So lunge position, hands on your front thigh. Good. Keep your right hand on your thigh. Reach your left arm to the sky. And then reach your left arm as high as you can. So press your right hand down and see if you can reach higher. Now start to reach your left fingertips over to the right so you feel lots of length in your left side. Take one more big inhale. We're going to use that length to twist. As you exhale, reach forward to the right and then left elbow to the outside of your right thigh hands to prayer position. If that feels like too much, you can bring your left hand down inside your right foot and reach your right arm up just like we did in our little flow. So revolve lunge, your expression, legs stay strong, twist from your center. Think of lengthening through your spine, telescoping through your ribs, broadening through the fronts of your shoulders. Take about two more deep breaths, work your pose. You guys look so good. Use your exhales to twist, twist, twist. Nice work. End of your next exhale. Unwind. Bring your hands all the way over to the left side of your mat. Parallel your feet. Straighten out your legs. So wide-legged forward fold position. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, either fold or explore in your own way with your own breath. So if you want to move, you are more than welcome to. If you want to be still and just follow your breath through your body, that's perfect as well. So just stay here, stay present, be in your body. See if you can use this time to fire up your breath to make it even bigger, even more spacious, even more expansive. Take about two more rounds.
If you'd like, you can let an exhale move out your mouth, just big cleansing breath. And then next time you breathe in, halfway lift, fingertips on the ground. Spider crawl your hands to the top of your mat, rotate your toes to face forward. Now listen here, root into your right foot, standing staff pose. So see if you can come all the way to standing with your left knee lifted, arms to the sky. Good. So take a moment to find your balance. Then we're gonna take this into a figure four, outer left ankle, top of your right thigh, hands to your heart, sit back into a one-legged chair. You can stay right here, this is your pose, or maybe explore, so you can hinge forward, reach back, you can bring your fingertips to the ground, take a forward fold variation. If there's an arm balance in your practice, you're welcome to take it here as well. You've got about three or four more big deep breaths. Keep your left toes flexed and visualize your breath moving down into your outer left hip. Nice job. And if you do fall out, just come back in when you're ready. Remember that this is a practice, not a performance. So be kind to yourself. Be compassionate. Take one or two more rounds. And then we're going to meet back in standing staff. So slowly start to lift back up, reach back up. Left knee lifted, arms to the sky. Stay here or extend your left leg forward. Try not to lean back. Hold here for three. Stand a little taller, two. Reach a little higher, and one. Let it go. Shake it out. So arms eventually down by your sides. Stand in mountain pose. Just nice and tall with awareness. Breathing into every little space in your body. So take a moment. Close your eyes. Go inward. Stay as you are. Next time you breathe in, fill up as big as you can. Hold. Sip in a little more. Exhale, open mouth, sigh. Flow with your breath. Inhale, high mountain. We're going to add a little back bend. Exhale, cactus your arms. Lift and open through your heart. Inhale, arms re-extend, lengthen. And then lead with your heart. Exhale, dive down slowly, forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift, spinal extension. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back. Take your vinyasa. End up in tabletop position, hands and knees. All right, so wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Draw your belly button in and up, knit your front ribs together. Take your left arm forward and your right leg back, spinal balance. So as you reach forward and back, don't let your belly drop. Good, press with your back foot and then reach through your fingertips. Take one more big inhale, pull yourself apart. Exhale, elbow to knee, slowly with control. Curl in, round your spine. Nice, like you're moving through honey. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Move slowly with awareness. Inhale, lengthen. Try not to arch your spine. One more time. Exhale, elbow to knee. Press knee into elbow, elbow into knee. Inhale, re-extend. You guys are awesome. Exhale, bring just your left hand down. Pivot on your left knee. So left foot to the outside of your mat, right arm to the sky, modified side plank. You can stay right here or right arm reaches forward. So really reach and lengthen from your fingertips back to your toes. Final option, if you wanna go there, bend your right knee, reach back, grab hold of your foot. And then kick foot into hand, pull hand back into foot. See if you can start to rotate your heart up towards the sky. Wherever you have chosen to go, bring your breath into it. Make it bigger, more spacious. Two more rounds. Good. Nice poses. 
end of your second exhale, slowly release and unwind. Come back to your hands and your knees. Take it back to your downward facing dog. Walk your feet out wide to the width of your mat. You might walk your feet forward just an inch or two, not much. So you want to stay in a down dog position. And then left hand reaches back to grab the outside of your right ankle. If that's too much, grab the back of your calf or the back of your knee. Keep lifting from your center. So that's going to be the key here so that you don't feel like it's really hard to balance. Find that connection to your core and use it. Gaze underneath your right shoulder and every time you exhale, feel that ringing out sensation and twist. Good job, nice Anne. Couple more deep breaths. Use your breath. Very good, you guys. Take one last round, fullest expression. Twist, twist, twist. And then unwind, regular downward facing dog. So you can adjust your stance, walk it out, pedal it out, move around a little bit. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, open your left hip. So bend your left knee. Think of stacking your left hip on top of right. Try not to collapse into your right shoulder or your right hip. Take one more big inhale, flex through your left toes. Stay here if you want and wait for us. Otherwise, exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog, take it back up, lengthen. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, or tricep as high as you can get on your arm. Inhale, back up, three-legged dog. Last one, curl in, knee to your nose, hollow out your belly, then softly step your left foot through. So lunge position, bring your hands up to your front thigh. Keep your left hand on your thigh, reach your right arm up, press down with your left hand and see if you can reach even higher than you thought you could. Now start to reach your right fingertips to the left, so think of a side body stretch. Breathe into all that length on your right side. One more big inhale. As you exhale, reach forward and to the left, and then right elbow outside of left thigh. Hands to prayer, press your palms together. Work your twist. Legs stay strong, especially your back leg. Squeeze through your inner thighs. Lengthen your spine and broaden through the front of your collarbones. You guys look so good. Give yourself about two more rounds. Every time you exhale, see if you can find your edge. Take it all the way to empty. Bigger breaths. Last round. Awesome job. End of your exhale, unwind. Bring both of your hands to the right side of your mat. Parallel your feet, so turn your toes to face to the right. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, either fold or wherever you want to go, however you want to explore, about five breaths. Slow, steady, ujjayi breath. So use your breath to go deeper, to feel into the, all those little nooks and crannies to create space there. Good job. Take about two more rounds. Nice, Janelle. Next time you breathe in, halfway lift, fingertips on the ground. Crawl your hands to the top of your mat. Rotate your toes to face forward so you're back in a lunge position for just a second. Root down firmly into your left foot and then slowly with control, standing staff. So come all the way up to stand with your right knee lifted, your arms to the sky. Take a moment to find your balance here. 
And then figure four, outer right ankle, top of your left thigh, sit back into a one-legged chair. So your butt reaches back, weight in your left heel. Stay here, this is your pose, breathe or explore. So maybe take a forward fold, maybe hinge forward, reach back, bring your chest a little bit closer, your ribs a little bit closer to your legs. And if you do fall out, that's part of your practice. Meet yourself where you're at. Keep a flex in your right foot. Keep pressing your outer ankle into the top of your thigh and breathing down into your outer right hip. You've got about two more rounds. We'll meet back in standing steps. So slowly with control, start transitioning back. Eventually, arms extend, right knee lifts. Keep your knee bent or extend your right leg forward only as far as you can without leaning back. Hold here and keep breathing for three. See if you can stand a little taller, two, reach a little higher, and one. Let it go, shake it out. And then eventually, mountain pose, arms by your sides, palms open, or hands to your heart center. Close your eyes, stand with awareness, so neutral pelvis, little tiny tone through your low abdominals, opening through your heart in the front of your shoulders. Close your eyes and just feel what it feels like to be in your body with awareness. Stay as you are, big, huge inhale, fill up, hold, sip in a little tiny bit more, and big open mouth sigh, let it go. Good ujjayi breath flow, inhale, reach up. Add your little back bend, exhale, cactus your arms, open up. Inhale, arms to the sky, re-extend. And exhale, slow swan dive down, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank, take your vinyasa however you would like. We'll see you back in down dog. Good, you guys. All right, inhale, right leg to the sky. Open up your right hip, so bend your right knee. Now either stay here, this is your pose, or option to flip your dog. So right foot steps down behind you, nice and easy. Lift your right arm, turn your heart to face the sky. Lift through your hips, breathe into your belly. Wherever you're at, take about two more rounds. We'll meet back in a three-legged down dog. So as you're ready, both hands on the ground, right leg to the sky. Big inhale to lengthen. Exhale, pigeon pose. So right shin, top of your mat. Set your body down gently. So get your right knee closer to the outer edge of your mat. Pull your front knee back and your back knee forward. So you want to plug the femur bones into the socket. And then when you're ready, take your bow forward. If you would rather take this posture on your back or in a seat, that is just fine. Just slow, deep breath.
Give yourself about five more rounds. And in those five more rounds, see if you can relax and soften around the pose. Five more percent. So what would that feel like in your body? What would that feel like energetically? Last breath or two, might be an exhale out your mouth. All right, listen here, you guys. Start to lift your upper body, plant your hands. So shoulder width distance apart, tuck your back toes, but start to scoot your back knee forward so your hips lift, and then unthread your right leg, three-legged tabletop, give your right leg a nice little shake out, and then bend your right knee, draw your heel towards your butt cheek, imagine you've got a rolled up washcloth behind your knee and you're trying to squeeze it and wring it out. Keep that and start to draw big circles with your right knee through space. Keep the rest of your body completely still. So just find that range of motion through your right hip joint. Reverse your circles. Take them in the opposite direction. Keep squeezing through the back of your knee. Keep your foot flexed and active. Keep every other part of your body still. Good job. Finish the circle you're on, and then bring your right knee to the ground. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Walk it out for just a moment. If you want to move through a vinyasa to just kind of reset, you're welcome to. Next time you inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, peel your left hip open, bend your left knee, stay here, get everything you can out of this posture or option to flip it. So left tiptoes come down behind you, lift your left arm and then turn your heart towards the sky. Lift through your hips, breathe into your belly. Couple more rounds wherever you've chosen to be. Nice work. We'll meet back in a three-legged down dog with your left leg extended. So take a great big inhale to lengthen and exhale nice and easy. Pigeon pose, left shin to the top of your mat. Knee closer to the outer edge of your mat, so rather than in line with your hip. And then think of pulling your front hip back, back hip forward, so getting that strength, that structure to support the stretch. And when you're ready, bow forward. And even as you're bowing forward, imagine you're trying to drag your left hip towards the back of your mat. You want to go deeper, scoot your back knee back a little bit further. where you're tensing up, where you're resisting. And see if you can allow yourself with each exhale to just soften, to surrender, to let go into the pose. Take about four or five more breaths.
Last couple of rounds, perhaps exhale out your mouth. When you feel pretty much even on both sides, begin to lift your upper body. We'll meet in that three-legged tabletop position. So scoot your back knee forward, unthread your left leg, give it a nice gentle shake out. And then when you're ready, start to draw your circles. So left knee bends, heel towards your butt, flex your toes. And as big as you can draw your circles, fullest range of motion you can find, every other part of your body stays still and quiet. Squeeze that invisible rolled up washcloth through the back of your knee. Breathe. Reverse your circles at any time. And then eventually just set your left knee on the ground. Either a child's pose or downward facing dog. One last time to just stretch. Or if you'd like, hero's pose, just seated meditation. So take a moment wherever you've chosen to go. Just notice, feel, and observe. And then in your next couple breaths or so, find your way down onto your back. And I don't care which direction you face, if your head faces towards the front of your mat or the back of your mat, so just whatever works for you. Once you are down on your back, either a full body stretch or hug your knees towards your belly and just gently rock from side to side. Maybe a little bit of both would feel good. All right, and then just bring your feet to the ground with your knees bent. Walk your feet out to the width of your yoga mat, so wider than your hips. Either tee out your arms or cactus your arms against the ground and just start to windshield wiper your knees from side to side. You can move with your breath. So inhale to come through center, exhale to fall to the side or just move in whatever way works for you. Maybe it feels good to hold on one side for a couple rounds. And the next time your knees fall to the right, either keep them there for three to five breaths, or if there is a different variation of a supine spinal twist that you'd rather take, then you can move into that variation instead. Gaze up or over your left shoulder. And then as you're ready, just switch to the other side. Gaze up or over your right shoulder. I'll just leave it up to you when you feel pretty even on both sides. Come back to center and find a happy baby posture. 
So soles of your feet face the sky. Grab hold of your feet if you can. If that's too much, grab your ankles, shins, or the backs of your thighs. Think of pulling down with the strength in your arms. But then resist with your legs. Press up and slightly forward through your heels. Rather than rounding your back a lot, have the intention of creating a neutral spine. You can rock a little bit or explore a little bit. Stay here as long as you want to. Eventually, either start transitioning into your final relaxation or if there are any more poses, stretches, movements that you want to take to complete your practice, give yourself five to 10 breaths to do so. And I read this quote the other day it said something like, nothing is ever over until we have learned what we need to learn, until it has taught us what we need to learn. So I think that is just so true, and especially at this time, as we're going through all this weird transition, change, just really living in a different world. We're all just learning. We're all just experiencing what it is we need to experience at this time. We're learning what we need to learn for our own evolution, for our own transformation. So even when we don't like things, when they're uncomfortable, when they're challenging, can we always approach them from the mindset of a student? What is this here to teach me? What can I learn from this? How can I experience this fully without shying away, without stepping back, without curling up into our little tiny potato bug ball, or even sometimes curling up, but then going back out and trying again. So I think that's what we do. Every time we step onto our mats, we come here to learn. We come here to be open to experience. So you have done your practice on your mat for the day. Now allow yourself for these last few moments to just relax and to just soak in everything that you worked for here. Soak in all the efforts, all the energy of your practice. Shavasana.
deep, deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Start to bring gentle movements back into your physical body. Start to transition back into this physical world. So feel the ground underneath you, feel the air on your skin. Hear the birds outside, the cars outside, and the sounds that are closer, the sound of my voice, maybe the sounds inside your body. And as you're ready, roll to one side, fetal position, and give yourself a moment to just be held by the ground for one last time. Using the strength in your arms, guide yourself up into a seat facing towards the front of the room. Eyes closed. Nice and tall through your spine, long through the back of your neck. So just sitting with awareness, with intention. Exhale in your breath. And inhale one last time, sweep your arms out around and up and just symbolically gather in all the efforts, all the energy from our practice this morning, bring it all into your heart, hands to heart. Thank you guys so, so much for being here, for showing up, for taking time out of your day to tune in, to slow down, to be more present, more aware, and just reconnect with a deeper part of yourself. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. All right, friends. Thank you, guys.